How's it going Guardians? Shifty here and unlike my recent birthplace of the vile video I actually have a successful solo GM run in today's video. It's currently the last week of Season of the Risen and this week's Nightfall is the Scarlet Keep. Not only that but it is the absolute final week to get your hands on a palindrome before it gets vaulted. So with my solo videos I intend for them to be useful for all types of players. I think that some of my strategies could help if you're heading in solo or if you're struggling in a fire team. Now in this one, I will be using a Void 3.0 Warlock and I won't have any form of invisibility. In just a moment, I'll go into some more details on my loadout for this run, but before I do that, if you end up enjoying today's video, make sure to hit that like button and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. With that said, let's get into my loadout. So I am on a Void Walker with Cataclysm Nova Bomb, I'm using the Vortex Grenade, for my aspects I have Chaos Accelerant and Feed the Void. And for my three fragments, I have Echo of Undermining, Echo of Remnants, and Echo of Expulsion. Next up, for my weapons, I'm using Arbalist in my Kinetic Slot. Then for my Energy Weapon, I have the Insidious Pulse Rifle. This does Arc Damage, which is boosted by 25% due to Acute Arc Burn. And finally, in my Heavy Slot, I have the Tarantula Arc Linear Fusion Rifle. This will also get that 25% damage boost. As for my armor mods, I'll just quickly show you each piece of armor, and if you need to see anything in more detail, just pause the video. I do want to mention on my chest armor, there is an additional mod that you can't see on the UI there. I do have another Well of Tenacity mod. Another important piece of my loadout that I actually want to mention is an emote. Here I have the Royal Alignment emote and this is going to be used to cheese the elevator portion. That is it for my loadout in this run. I will have timestamps if you want to skip to a particular portion of this nightfall and I will also include live commentary throughout the entire run. Now let's get into it. Alright here we are inside the Scarlet Keep Grandmaster Nightfall. Again, I wanted to try to do this without an Invis Hunter, so we'll see how this goes. Alright, entrance is done. Make sure I top up my ammo. I must once again ask you to venture into the dark. So I do have adaptive munitions on this Insidia, so I think that's going to help out against the wizards throughout the strike. Unfortunately, I'm one away from being able to craft this yet. I haven't received my fifth one to be able to craft the Insidious. So this one is just a random roll one that I happen to have. And it only has Compulsive Reloader. So not a great perk outside of Adaptive Munitions. The rest of the roll is pretty decent though. Alright, so in this room, I'm not going to jump off this ledge. I'm going to stand up here and take care of some of the enemies down low. We can go for the champion. We can go for the acolytes as well. And the champion is down. Let's go for the acolyte here. It's going to be a second one as well. And then there's going to be two that head up this left ramp. All right. I almost forgot, there's going to be two snipers, one spawns down low and one spawns up high. Sometimes this lower one will spawn on this right platform instead. I definitely don't want to get hit by these. There we go. I almost forgot those spawn, but we may do. I'm going to throw a grenade on the two acolytes that spawn out of that doorway. As we can see, there's a wizard here. You can also use Arbalist against these wizard shields just like that, and it fell down the hole. Alright, now I'm going to toss a grenade down here. And 
And once I get into this room, I'm going to head off to the left, but I'm not going to push very far into the room. I'm going to be ready for the barrier champion and acolytes that spawn right there. Left barrier champion is down. Time to finish off these two acolytes here. Perfect. Now I'm going to go to the right side and do the same thing. Should be a barrier champion and I think it hides down here. I'm going to go ahead and finish it for the heavy ammo and hopefully not die to these acolytes. All right, the acolytes are down. I have plenty of heavy ammo. Let's reload that. And I'm going to prepare a grenade for the thrall that spawned right here. I'm going to also rift because there is going to be an arc shielded captain. I mean arc shielded knight. And that arc knight is down. Alright, so there's a wizard up there, of course. I'm going to see if I can do a little bit of damage from down here to make it a bit easier. And I am terrible. My aim is completely off. So it looks like I'm going to have to head up here. So you can see adaptive munitions is definitely better than the uh, base insidious, but it's not doing an incredible job against the wizard. So I'm going to go ahead and use Arbalist. And the wizard is down. And it replenished my heavy ammo and gave me a bit of special as well. Next up, I'm going to grab the Void Charge. I don't anticipate that I'm going to dunk this, so I'm going to just hop up here. This will give me a good vantage point to take care of this champion. That was a close call. I wasn't ready for the champion, of course. Right, champion down now I can go for the acolytes there should be two right down here and then once those two are dead there should be two more that kind of come down the ramp there they are Since all the enemies are down, I can go back and grab the Void Charge, and I don't have to worry about any enemies taking me by surprise down there. Dunk it, and now I'm going to go repeat a similar process on the left-hand side. I'm going to toss a grenade down there, take care of this one thrall that ends up up here. And then I'm going to try to take this wizard out or do some damage again before I head down. My aim was a little bit better on that wizard, so now we don't have to worry about that. 
all we're gonna have is four acolytes down here. Grab this void charge. As ahead of this ramp, we're gonna have an acolyte spawn. I don't need to worry about the void charge. I can always come back and get it. So I'm gonna head around this corner where we'll have a barrier champion as well as some acolytes. Barrier champion down. But I don't want to grab the Void Charge just yet. I'm going to go ahead and take care of the Cursed Thrall that are up here. I believe that should do it for the Cursed Thrall. So I'm going to head back and grab that Void Charge. Once I dunk this, the bridge should lower. As the bridge lowers, I'm going to head on over here. This is going to get the enemies to spawn. I'm going to immediately backtrack. Alright, one night is done. We'll just go ahead and finish this one. Save a bit of my ammo. I'm gonna also toss my super that direction. And then stun the champion. And it didn't do an incredible amount of damage, but we did get it about halfway down, which conserves on the ammo. Alright. Not seeing any obvious ammo lying around here. I'm going to try to toss a grenade out in the distance. Get some acolytes caught in it. I also want to take out some of these acolytes up top because they are sniping. Don't want to die to one of those. Now I'm going to push forward. There might still be a couple of snipers up top here, so I want to be careful as I head up these stairs. I'll prepare a grenade. Let's just boop this guy away. I want to be careful to make sure there's no acolytes left. I'm going to jump down to spawn the next wave. And then jump back up. And I got absolutely nobody inside that grenade. Let's just go ahead and try to take care of one of these wizards. Alright, one wizard down. Let's see if I can take care of the other one. Again, my aim isn't too great against those wizards with Arbalist, but I'm getting the job done. That's a much better grenade. Oop, almost died there. Let's make sure to grab all this ammo lying around. And then once we get up here, we're going to spawn another wave of enemies. 
There is, of course, going to be a barrier champion as well. You can see it right there. Get ready for the stun. Barrier champion down. Watch out for the grenade. I don't want to go too far forward here because I don't want to fight the Shrieker just yet. Alright, now I'm going to head up here. Place a rift on down. I got some void elemental wells. Let's get the Shrieker to open. down And now right up these stairs, there's going to be a couple of sniping acolytes. Let's try to get a grenade in there. The other one sometimes teleports away, so I just want to be careful regarding that. I did get a void elemental well, so that should help fight these a little bit. Of course, we're going to have a wizard. Even with Well of Tenacity and Double Arc Resist, that uh, wizard did a pretty decent amount of damage. Alright, so in this room, let's take care of some of the Acolytes off to the right. And we'll go ahead and use my super there. And then the champion. Is down. I don't see an abundance of ammo lying around. Which is a little unfortunate. Finish off the remainder of the Acolytes. Thankfully Insidious really staggers a lot of the weak enemies like that. Alright, so this plate room really isn't all that difficult if you approach it systematically, so I'm going to go through how I do it. So I'm going to hop on this first plate right away. I'm going to toss a grenade up there because a wizard is going to spawn up there. When the wizard spawns, I'm going to hop off the plate. And then when the wizard is dead, I'm going to take care of all the acolytes on either side. There's usually about four on each side. They tend to hide behind a bunch of these obstacles over here. See one of them over here a little bit and they will sometimes push up here a little bit i'll just toss a grenade on that guy perfect now i can head over here and start working on the left acolytes looks like one of them's a little bit closer than i had anticipated One more Acolyte. Alright, and now, once the Acolytes are down, I can head on to the plate again. I can actually capture this plate. Once it's captured, we're going to get Thrall that spawn on either side. A couple of Sniping Acolytes and a Barrier Champion up top. I'm going to try to be ready for that Barrier Champion up top. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to take care of it, I don't think. There we go. The barrier champion is down. That was a bit of a risky move. If you're not comfortable doing that, you can always back off and deal with the thrall first. But it is pretty important to get those snipers dealt with because those can be pretty deadly. In fact, I might still have one up over there somewhere. Hopefully not. 
do have a few thrall though. Let's just peruse the area, make sure all the thrall are gone, make sure there's no hidden sniper up here. Not seeing any sniper. Perfect. Alright, so next I'm going to approach one of the left or right plates. I like to go right first, but it doesn't really matter. Just enough to get the wizard to spawn. You can see even with adaptive munitions it does take a little while but it's significantly faster than without it so it is still a viable option for taking out shields now that i've dealt with all the enemies over here i can come over and start capturing when i start capturing after just a short time we're going to get spawns out of this door and the right door and a barrier champion is going to spawn up on the platform i like to head back to the middle this way i can easily deal with that champion Alright, time to be ready for barrier again. And now we can deal with the remaining two acolytes. And once those acolytes are down, I can head back to the plate and resume capturing it. I can completely capture it. There are no more enemies I have to worry about. And so I'm going to repeat that exact same process on the other side, and then we'll be done with the room. Again, approach it just close enough to get the wizard to spawn. Wizard is down. The wizard is down. I have two acolytes down. There should just be these two acolytes remaining. Same thing as before, I'm going to step on the plate for a short time. And then head over to the middle. I didn't quite get that accolade down. Either way, I want to deal with this champion. My aim is completely off with these linear fusions today. I really didn't want those spamming grenades at me, so I decided to take them out. Now where is this champion at? There it is. I'm going to hop on these stairs for a little bit of extra cover. And it looks like it hopped down. Alright, champion down. I think I got all the acolytes as well. And so all I have to do is finish capturing this left plate. Should be full up on Arbalist ammo now. And I think I saw a heavy brick off to the right, so I'm going to go get that before we move on. So right over here, I believe there's a heavy brick. Alright, so we're going to have a few acolytes here, some off to the right, some off to the left. I'm going to try to get a grenade on the right ones. And that worked out pretty well. I do want to be careful because there's going to be a acolyte sniper up top at some point. There it is. We'll just deal with that immediately. 
I also see two additional acolytes here around the corner. Those were the two on the left I was mentioning from earlier. And there's going to be another sniper up top. That one's taken care of. I'll just toss a grenade on these two acolytes. I don't want to deal with it. Plus, it'll give me a well of tenacity. Or should. There we go. And now I can deal with this champion. That was not good. I'm going to finish it for some heavy ammo. Since I ended up in this unanticipated circumstance. And I didn't even get the heavy ammo anyway. Alright. So I'm going to prepare a grenade here. I'm going to kind of toss it over there. Deal with these thrall that are pushing me. I do want to be careful because sometimes Thrall do come up and over. I didn't want to do that because I knew there were some Thrall on top of me. I'm just going to hop up here. There we go. You can always retreat. Remember that. If you're being chased down, make sure you're always retreating. Alright, we should get a barrier champion up top. Looks like we got a couple of enemies down low as well. Be careful for any snipers. Alright, barrier champion is down. I'm going to toss a grenade there. Try to kill him so I can get a well of tenacity. will be a little bit beneficial as we head into this next area. There's going to be so many uh, Acolyte Snipers out there. You have to be extremely careful here because they will do so much damage. And it's an extremely dangerous area. So what I'm going to do, try to get a grenade over there. I didn't want to stick out too long. And that looks to be a very, very solid grenade. I'm going to wait for it to barrier again. That'll refill my magazine since I have the catalyst. And that champion is down. Now we can deal with some of the remaining Acolyte snipers. Again, my aim is completely terrible. Now, the real question is, are there any more snipers that I'm going to have to worry about? There might be one hiding up to the left there. But either way, I'm going to push forward to this location. I'm going to place a rift down. And I'm going to peek out the right side. Wait and heal. Peek out the left side. Wait and heal. There we go. Shrieker is down. Again, I want to be careful for any additional acolytes that are up this ramp. Doesn't look like I'm seeing any. Make sure I'm topped out on my ammo. Alright, now as I push up here, we're going to spawn another wave of enemies, including a barrier champion. Going to toss a grenade up there and hope that it does a decent amount of damage. So I got a few enemies in it. Nothing incredible. Unfortunately, that didn't go quite as well as I would have hoped. Got the job done, and I'm basically full on ammo. Do have one acolyte, I guess. A couple acolytes. They're kind of hiding from me.
All right, so for this elevator portion, I will be cheesing it. To cheese it, uh, you basically have the emote from Season of the Lost, Season Pass. You equip it, and you back yourself up against one of these walls, and then you go ahead and use it. When you do, your head should go into the wall, and this will make it so enemies are not aggressive towards you. And so you just can ride the elevator up, and no enemies are going to shoot at you. And so we're almost up here, so I'm going to come out of the wall, there's no more enemies to worry about. I'm going to prepare a grenade to toss right on this doorway, take out all those Acolytes. I'm also going to take care of the Acolytes on the right hand side. I do want to be careful for the champion as well, don't want to get hit by that. Looks like a couple of Acolytes escaped towards the middle. The barrier champions also appear to be in the middle. Let's just toss a grenade up there and see what happens. Acolytes are down. One barrier champion down. All right, another barrier champion down. And all we should have left is a wizard. So I'll weaken the wizard in my grenade. I don't know how that last shot hit, but I'll take it. Look around for any ammo. I'm getting a little bit low. But head back to the plate. I'm going to destroy the crystal. And I'm going to get ready to back into the wall again. I'm going to give it a little bit of time until the elevator starts moving a little bit more. Sometimes it can glitch out and force you out of the emote. I'm going to go ahead and use the emote. Head should be in the wall and we should be good to go. And there it is. It forced me out. That happens once in a while. And you have to be very careful. I'll just kind of hide here. I, I, warned, I warned about that happening, and then I wasn't even anticipating myself. almost got myself killed. Alright, in here we're going to have an unstoppable champion, as well as several acolytes. And I'm going to go ahead and finish. Might as well for the ammo, right? We're going to have Acolytes on both sides to deal with. We have plenty of special ammo lying around here. Don't want to get beamed by the wizard. Wizard's almost down. Again, don't want to get beamed by the wizard.
wizards being a little difficult. But it's down. Let's see if there's any ammo for me to collect yet. Perfect. Almost full. Now we're going to ride the elevator up to the boss room. I'll get up against the wall again. This time I'll wait a little bit longer before I use my emote. There we go. We'll see if that works out this time. Either way, I'm going to be prepared to move if I need to. this time it worked out just perfectly. And so here we are at the boss room. I'm going to back away and we're going to go for the two wizards. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to toss a grenade right between them. That should suck both of them in. Let's break both their shields. And I'm going to, of course, back away. I don't want to get ambushed by both of them at once. That could be very deadly. And we'll finish this one off. And we'll finish that one off. Once the boss is in the arena, I'm going to head back to where I'm probably going to end up dying. Right comes. behind here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and toss my super. That's going to get us our first wave of ads. Got to be careful. Sometimes thralls do try to get back here. I'm going to toss a grenade right out here. I also got a well of tenacity off that. You want to be careful for the boss attacks, which were just hitting me there. Unfortunately, there were no enemies in that. I'm going to have to wait for my full cooldown on my grenade. Back away again, because the boss attacks are very deadly. Place a rift down. Toss a grenade out there, see what happens there. That one was a much better grenade than previous ones. That was a beautiful grenade. Finish this one off. Take care of that acolyte.
bosses here, so I'm going to be careful. Again, I'm just being very careful overall here. I really don't want to fall off the edge either. Perfect, both knights are down. Almost had that knight down. That did not go how I wanted it to. I didn't think the wizard was going to go around the corner like that. And that knight is down. And that was a terrible grenade on my part. We're just going to patiently wait here. And it's shielded. So we're going to get some wizards. I'm going to quickly grab this ammo and then try to sneak back in my spot. One wizard is down. That was a close one. That throw almost got to me. Another wizard out in the middle there. What I'm going to want to do with this other wizard is I'm going to want to break the shield with Arbalist. Like that. Perfect. I wanted to get some thrall in that. If I could hit my shots, this would be going a little bit smoother. Like I said. And what do we have left out there? Let's grab that ammo quick. That should be the last enemy right there. I'm going to toss my grenade and then immediately run back here. Boss should be de-shielded. There it is. I'm going to conserve my ammo until later. We'll go ahead and use a couple of shots, I guess. I don't want to stand there too long because, again, this boss will melt you even with double arc resist. And that was very risky on my part.
So this boss fight is really about patience and being aware of when the boss is attacking you. Especially if you're using this spot. Alright, we got the next ad spawn. down that was a very close call but I got the second night down and just wait here until I'm fully healed looks like the boss is all the way to the left We might have some enemies there. We don't. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to toss my super way over there like that. And that's not exactly what I wanted. But it did lure a few of the acolytes over here. Now are there any more acolytes? Trying to get an eye on the boss way over there yet. Let's get a, try to get a grenade over there. Careful here. And it's shielded again, so we're going to get our next wave of ads. Two of those ads are going to be unstoppable champions. We have to watch out for the Acolyte Grenades. I just said we have to watch out for the Acolyte Grenades, and I stood right in one. I'm just going to wait here until I get at least a Rift or a Grenade. Should get both at a similar time. Alright, these Acolyte Grenades... These unstoppable champions are going to be a problem. These acolyte grenades are going to continue to be a problem as well. And that was a very risky move on my part. I'm going to just duck down here and hopefully this champion goes away.
All right, we're getting closer and closer to taking out at least one of these champions. Again, I'm just trying to be patient. I want to conserve my Arbalist ammo for later. One champion is almost down. One champion down. I imagine the boss is unshielded, not quite, which means we still have an enemy lying around somewhere. Let's see if I can find said enemy. Cursed Thrall right there. And I should be killing it right now, and the boss is unshielded. Looks like we have another ad spawn coming in. I'm going to be patient here. I would like my rift before I pop out anywhere. In fact, we might be able to lose aggro on some of these enemies. Let's pop my rift and see what I can do. Alright, one of the knights is down. Taking care of the acolytes. I really don't want to peek out and then get blindsided by something there. So I'm going to toss a grenade there. There may or may not be enemies there. coming around. Trying to be very careful. And the boss is down. And that is a solo platinum completion of the Scarlet Keep Grandmaster Nightfall on a Warlock with no invisibility. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I think that it could help you whether or not you wanted to try the solo or you wanted to head in with a full fire team. I think some of the strategies I employed can be useful for anybody. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section down below. 
And also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel as well. I just want to thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.